Hey, what's up guys? Elton McFall here. Uh, sorry, sometimes I don't speak the clearest. Uh, Elton McFall is my name, aka Retro Old School. Here's my kitty Gloria. Gloria. Meow. <laughs> Gloria, meow for you. Oh, she's such a sweetheart who always wants to eat. <laughs> Anyway, so welcome to part two of my uh, collection of vintage Ford ads. Now, everything you see here in the file here, I'll show you how thick it is here. Yeah. Okay, this is what I filmed already. And we're not even at the halfway point. And that does not include all the stuff I have in magazines in different piles, like here, for example, and over there. And then there's some in my anyway, different places. So anyway, uh, without further ado, here we go. So here's a beautiful large ad. This measures... Uh, about 14, 13 by 22 inches. Very nice. Uh, just to show you how I give good deals, somebody offered me five, five bucks for that. It will be sold. Yeah, nice 1971 Ford Maverick ad. I had a friend who had a Comet version of that, Mercury Comet. Cool car. I even helped to push the damn thing up here from Boulevard here in Montreal when he ran out of gas. Yeah, it was the year I stayed next year in high school. Of course, I'm sure that doesn't surprise some of you. Uh, so again, this is not a Ford ad, but it's related to that. It's a New York life insurance ad uh, showing a 67 Ford Custom. Mm -hmm. What do you want, Gloria? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. This is an awesome ad. This one is this is one of those ads. I don't care if I don't sell it. It's just so cool. I love color. I mean, the more an ad has color, the more awesome it is. The more cool it is. And here's a 70 a 71 or so. I think it's a 72. 72 Ford Torino. I mean, imagine finding one like this. Totally original right down to the hubcaps. Original color. You know, the two tone or the vinyl top. How cool is that? Uh, I just want to see here. Yeah, Ford Torino 500 two-door hardtop. Right on. Cool stuff. Yeah. Then they had that theme for a few years there. They were using their ads, you know, Ford Better Idea. And yeah, they had the little light bulb, you know, kind of icon light up there thing. And moving along, speaking of late 60s, here's a Ford, here, speaking of 67 Fords, here's a Ford LTD, which was top of the line at that time. I'm going to try to film without my shadow in the, in the shot. There we go. Yeah, nice ad. This one I just sell cheap, seriously, like, no joke, like two bucks, because I don't know if you can see, but let me see if I can check. Yeah, you see, there's a bunch of waves there. Two bucks, man, it's gone. All right. And if you're not far from Hoshalaga, I'll even bring it to you, maybe. Here's a nice 1970 Ford Thunderbird ad. Uh, well, part of it anyway, without the text, with the uh, with the Pan Am uh, 747, which is not a coincidence because they were unveiled uh, just two years earlier. And this this is unique because I colored by hand this ad as an artist. Yeah, because it's a common ad, so I made it unique. Now this is kind of cool, right? Tire ad, whatever tires, but no, no, no. 1957 Ford Fairlane. Ooh, baby. Look at this, peach and white, you got your wagon in the back, wagon, another wagon here, red and white, yeah, 50s, two-tone. If you could buy a brand new car with two-tone paint and wide white wall tires and it was American, you were doing all right in life, let me tell you. And again, speaking of nice illustrations, nice artwork, this is circa 60, I think 63, nice quality carad, you know, sort of like an extended warranty kind of thing for cars, you know, you bought a car from Ford and they would service it and you know fix things on it uh, again years ago here's another ad I colored beautiful 1959 Ford Galaxy 500 with a beautiful ride in the back there uh, uh, roller coaster and here's a custom version a cheaper model and I even colored in the tires yeah sorry the Galaxy Club Victoria not the 500 excuse me very cool ad. Yeah, this is like, I won't sell that for less than $10, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't keep that for a cigarette ad. No, nice uh, pickup ad. Actually, most of my Ford truck has are in a different file. I have a commercial file, which means, you know, any kind of vehicles that was commercial use. 
well that's on wheels yeah I gotta trim that that's a 66 nice hat uh, same size again that her Ford pickup ad wrong file 69 67 around there uh, anyway Boy, all this talking is making me hungry. Okay, here's a cool lad. Check this out. So you got the Ford Thunderbird, the EXP, the Mustang SVO. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Ow, Gloria. Bad kitty. What are you doing? Gloria is weird. When I start talking, it's almost as if she's jealous or something. This is probably about 84, 85, I think. I actually hear my camera making noise while I'm talking. I just put my ear to it. I was like, wow. Mm, that's not an ad, but anyway. Mm, okay, this one. This is a Ford Courier 77. <laughs> Great many. Yeah, the early years of compact pickups. Uh, yeah, good luck trying to find one of these today. Wow, seriously? Yeah, they were not exactly as good as, uh, you know, F-150s and... Rangers and so forth. This is a cool Canadian champion ad. I, I, they probably had the same ad in the States. I'm not sure. Sometimes they were different. Yeah, beautiful uh, 59 Thunderbird. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't sell that. I had that on eBay like a lot of these. Another one that's not a Ford ad but related is that 61 Ford uh, Galaxy. Very nice with the uh, Samsonite luggage. I mean, cars were always used to to uh, to sell things. It's just that maybe not so much today because Well, you know, it's a copyright infringement. They have to have the rights. This one's a page missing uh, Ford Explorer here, French ad. What's this one? I think I know what this one is. Yeah This is awesome. It's just too bad. This ad has got a lot of waves in it, but uh, Still very cool. I mean check this out. Look at your lineup 1956 Ford Fairlane convertible got your 56 Lincoln Premier 56 Lincoln Continental, that was the first year for that. 56 Mercury Montclair, yeah. And the, of course, the 56 Thunderbird. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah, some of the best years for Ford, man. We're to 50, is no doubt about it. Look at this, another one I can't believe I didn't sell. 67 Ford Ranchero, man, based on the Fairlane, or Fairlane Ranchero, if you will. Very groovy stuff, baby. Yeah, painted resell red. Here's a 91 uh, Ford pickup ad. Yeah, again, this is one of those ads I'd sell cheap. It's not old, it's not mint. Nice shape, but you know, it's not worth much. Two bucks. You know, summer fun. Okay, this one, the page isn't with it. Check this one out. This is a beautiful ad. I had to trim this one down. Uh, there were a couple edges in bad shape. Look at that. Beautiful 55 uh, Fairlane convertible. Again, resell red, kind of with the dog dish hubcaps on it. Yeah. Oh, this one I ha this one is another one I don't care if I don't sell. It is so cool. This is a uh, sixty. What the hell is it? What do you think, Gloria? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That is a '69 Ford Country Squire with the wood paneling. With the, the uh, these are called uh, dual wall uh, hubcaps, they're very heavy, I know, I had a couple of them. And it's got the concealed headlights, all this stuff was optional, man. Fucking amazing beast, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, you know what, that's, uh, how you find a frame for this, I'd like to frame this in the near future, it's very groovy stuff. It's epic in terms of what represented the United States at that time, you know. Look at this, here's another beautiful 59 Ford uh, Galaxy. Again, uh, this one a convertible uh, with an armored truck with a beautiful artwork, sort of a, sort of a Norman uh, Rockwell type of theme. You know, very, very groovy stuff. You know. Here's a 66 Ford uh, Galaxy 500. Is it an XL? Uh, it is an XL. And I think the XL minimum power was a uh, 390, probably, all the way up to a 428 or 427. Yeah, Jay Leno's dad had one. That's funny. He mentioned a story one time when he, you know, him and his mom and dad, they went to go shop for a new car. And his dad wasn't a car guy. And the, 
and uh, his, uh, his dad was like, ah, you know, his wife was like, oh, you know, honey, let uh, let uh, let Jay let Jay, you know, uh, pick the options on the car. So, his, <laughs> so Jay Leno picks out like the big block 428 uh, uh, muffler delete, man, you know. His dad goes to pick up the car when they get it sometime later, and he starts it up. And and then his, and his dad's like, "What the hell's going on here?" And so you imagine that, eh? That must have been something. Uh, this is a '83 Ford LTD. Every time I look at this ad, I look at a picture of this. It reminds me of a Beverly Hills Cop. There was one like that, beige Ford, in that movie. Very epic. 80s movie in my opinion one of my favorites somebody right now i think on ebay is watching this ad i don't remember what year this is i think it's a 60 60 or 61 yeah there we go 61 with charlie brown the whole peanuts thing going on there with linus and uh yeah black and white black and white ads don't sell as well as color um black and white is not as hip as it used to be this is another ad i don't care if i don't sell this is where i like black and white look how fucking cool that is uh, that's a 58 or 59 Thunderbird, 59, and just just an awesome ad, you know, two color, Vista car wax, it's just really cool. And again, a typical 11 by 14, another black and white ad, quality care ad, you got the uh, Ford uh, Galaxy getting tested there for uh, heat, heat, I think. Yeah. Here's a beautiful ad I have, this is one of two, I have a uh, 74 uh, Ford LTD type of car you drive around you know you get like eight miles per gallon you know there's nothing economical about those cars i can't believe i never sold this this is such a cool ad it's amazing look at that 1967 mustang fastback the type of guy who drives it ironically i knew a guy who looked like this guy and he was a mustang fanatic and he actually ended up buying a 68 mustang Here's a 67 uh, Cougar, and I guess the kind of woman would have it. Oh, beautiful 67 Thunderbird restyled. Yeah, man, wide, long ass hood. Beautiful. Ad. And da -da 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 -da. here's a fantastic uh, 57 uh, Ford uh, Fairlane 500 convertible. A beautiful color. This is not a cheap ad. There's no white background. It's just really cool. It's actually a Canadian ad. There's a Canadian ad here for this company here, uh, Northern Electric. So, yeah, I'm um, kind of reluctant to uh, sell it just for the Ford, so because there are a lot of people interested in Northern Electric and Western Electric and telephone ads. Here's a '68 ad, win a, uh, a Mustang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, very cool. 69 Thunderbird. Look how wide the hoods were. It was unbelievable. The hood was like three times the size of the windshield, if not more. It's incredible. Very cool stuff. Never make any of this stuff again. It's just it's just so, you know, amazing. Uh, here is a 78, uh, sorry, 77 Ford LTD ad. So you had the LTD Lando, four-door sedan, top of the line. You had the... Um, Excuse me, the, the Country Square Wagon, then you had the LTD2, and uh, the LTD2s again. Yeah, nice stuff. Uh, yeah, so I figured, like I said, this is probably going to be in three parts. That's why I'm trying to do this quickly, you know, because, oh shit, well, that's not good. Oh no! Here's a uh, nice 65 Ford Fairlane ad with a pilot. And what's this here? Oh, this is part of a 57 Ford Fairlane ad. The same type of ad again as the other one you saw. But you see, sometimes I don't have these things together. Oh, wait a minute. This one, I think, is right here. Uh, yeah, check that out. Beautiful. Speaking of 65 Ford Fairlane, look at that beautiful thing. 65 Ford Fairlane, redesigned for that year. This needs a little trimming here that I can do. And with the 65 Falcon Futura, right on. And... Yeah, and actually this was also, uh, yeah, part of the, uh, the other page was missing here for the Mustang and the Galaxy. Galaxy. Man, you know what, I was thinking I'd do this in three parts. I think I might have to do it in four parts even. Oh yeah, there's the, another 
83 uh, LTD ad. You think I have a life? No, nope. no. Nope. Usually collectors like me, we don't really have a life. This is it, man. Anyway, I've done my days of like clubbing with friends and drinking and bars and all that stuff and whatever. Kind of overrated. That is a rare car, 58 Ford. Um, shit, it's not a Country Squire, or maybe it is. I think there's another name for it. Yeah. I guess I'll do it in three parts. I think I'm going to finish here in a, in a moment here. Yeah, this is another ad uh, that I colored by hand. I didn't touch the stewardess, but yeah, there's another 65 Ford Fairlane, but this one I color by hand with the others you've seen with a marker because they're common ads. So it was trying to do that to to resell them, you know. There's another one of those quality care ads. Oh, my shadow doesn't make for a bad view. Look at this. I actually have two of these. Shit, I forgot about that. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop the next ad because I'm tired anyway. And uh, so, yeah, when it comes to ads being common, vintage ads, you're talking about like, let's say, 70s and older. I would say I've I realized uh, a few years ago that, yeah, mid 60s are the most common, like seriously, 64, 65, 66. And that's because the economy was in the strongest shape and, and they sold so many fucking cars the big three in those years. I mean, the, if you don't know, the 65 Mustang alone, they sold almost 800,000 them in 65 alone. Pretty amazing stuff. So anyway, just to finish, yeah, very nice 65 Ford LTD, which was based on the Galaxy, top of the line. Compared it to the a Rolls Royce, and that the Rolls Royce didn't even have as a quiet as a ride as the uh, Ford. And it's also strange, I think it's funny, that they actually said the word, damn it which was much more swearing than it is today. So they might have gotten in trouble for that. I think Ford might have got letters for that. And I guess we'll finish this little thing here. Look at this little ad here for Airstream an Airstream trailer, which are very collectible today, very desirable. And it's got a little Ford pickup there, 64, uh, 63, 4, 5, 6, there, and so forth there. And, uh, I should stop, eh? I should stop now. Okay, let's finish. Look, I got a lot of fairly nasty. I don't, I don't sell too well, unfortunately. Look at this one. Beautiful jazz yet. 62, nice colors, nice shots. Tail light, interior, all that stuff. Very nice. <coughs> anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. And, uh, and if you like what you've seen, please subscribe and leave your positive comments. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Take care, guys.